I met Archie and I found him to be an extraordinary human being. He uh, welcomed people to walk around the hospital and for the first time in my life I saw really burnt people. Uh, and I remember once uh, he said, oh, you better come to the Christmas party, Peter. So I said, OK. And I went rather timorously. And there all were surgeons and the doctors and the anaesthetists all dressed up in their theatre gowns and boots and stuff. They wheeled in the turkey. And to my horror, I looked at the instruments that they were going to carve the turkey with. And they were all theatre instruments, knives and all that stainless steel glittering against a turkey. So that was his sort of black humour. And then, of course, he founded the guinea pigs. And the guinea pigs were his group of patients, something like 640 at the peak. People had been through East Grinstead. Famously, he said at the inaugural meeting, we're looking for a chairman who can't read. Anybody here blind? Yes, sir, I'm blind. He said, OK, you can be the chairman, then you can't read the rules. Anybody with no legs? Yes, sir, I've got no legs. He said, well, you can be the treasurer, so you can't run away with the cash. So that was the sort of person you were dealing with. Huge spirit, no nonsense. Uh, he changed the whole attitude, the rather stiff medical culture that existed at the time. One of Archie's more memorable comments when he was faced with all these burnt patients, he'd say to them, it's one thing to die for your country, but it's a great deal more important to live for it.